Welcome back painting friends. Today we are going to paint um, a picture of, well, it's really uh, just a forest with some water and a sunrise. I'd like to imagine that it's Alaska. So what colors are you going to need? You're going to need white, pink, yellow, blue, purple, black, and green. Don't forget to have your brushes nearby. These are my favorite four brushes. My, my one inch flat brush, my 10, six, and one round brush. Remember to have a cup of water and a rag for keeping your brushes clean. Now, if you like what you're seeing here today, please um, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook, Painting with a Purpose on Facebook. So let us get started. I'm going to start off by taking white paint and at the very center in the middle of my canvas, I'm just going to drop a spot and it's pretty thick white paint. And from there, I'm just going to pull lines down straight through here. I do not have to cover my whole canvas because I do want some areas to be lighter and some to be darker. So I'm not covering the whole canvas, just making some lines. Now, when those lines are on there, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take white paint. I'm going to make a line across the bottom. This is where our water is going to be. I am painting the entire bottom in. With that dirty white brush, I'm gonna take some blue paint and I'm gonna paint blue down here. So I've got light blue paint. I'm lightening it up even more with white paint. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wipe that brush off, wash that brush off, set it aside, and get my number 10 round brush. And this is where the fun really starts to happen. So with your number 10 round brush, you're going to start with your, your pinks and your yellows first, and we're going to end with our blues. But what you're going to do is you're going to start from this point up here, and you're going to pull lines down. Okay. Now some of these lines, you might want to make them really thick. Some you can make them skinnier. You don't ever want to go all the way to the top right there. Now that I've got some yellow on there, I'm just going to wipe my brush off. I'm not going to wash it off. I'm going to grab some of that pink and do the same thing. I'm okay if the pinks mix. I'm okay if there's some white space left behind. wipe that brush off. I'm going to add a little bit of purple now and that purple, um, you have to be really careful with that purple because it is a really strong color. And if you mix it too much with that yellow, you're going to get a mud color. So I'm going to go with a little bit of purple. And then we're going to do the exact opposite things going from the bottom up. So from the bottom up, I'm going to take blues. I don't have to worry too much about this line. We're gonna, we're gonna mix some of these colors in. I'm gonna take blues and pull these blues up. Now you have to know that blue and yellow mix to make green. So if you start to get green on your brush, wipe your brush off and start again. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna pull these colors in until they just start to touch or just start to mix with the top colors. So with the background finished now, I'm going to go in with my one inch flat brush again, and I'm going to just drop some lines of white. If you get your brush too messy, I uh, just wipe it off, wash it off and start again. So I'm just going to go in from this top corner here or the top corner, the top center, and I'm just taking my one inch flat brush. I'm just tapping it on the canvas to give some 
streams of white that are kind of blobby and messy. Now let's talk back about this water down here. Now that we've got our lines down there, I'm gonna take white paint and I'm just gonna run right across this edge right here where my water's gonna be. But then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add drops of yellow. Now remember, yellow and blue make green, so when you do this, you have to be careful. Some drops of pink and a couple of drops of purple. And then we're gonna brush these in so gently, okay? Remember, yellow and blue make green. <laughs> Be gentle with your dropping in of colors. After that's on there, I'm gonna take some blue paint, just like I did with my lines coming down. I'm gonna make some lines of blue I'm gonna wash that brush off and I'm gonna make some lines of white. Now with our background finished, we're gonna let this dry. When we come back, we're gonna add in those pine trees. All right, my background is dry. So I've got my number 10 round brush and I'm gonna take some green paint and I'm just gonna make a line straight across this top here, okay? A little bit of green paint, line straight across that top. Now I want to make my trees kind of like a greenish black color, a really, really, really dark green. So I'm gonna take all of my green paint and a little bit of my black paint and I'm gonna mix those two guys together. So. A lot of green, a little black. And then with this really deep, dark color, I'm gonna make my pine trees. Now you can add as many pine trees as you want, um, but I'm gonna, let me wipe some of that paint off. I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna make a tall one, maybe a medium one and a little bit taller. So I'm gonna do three on this side and then I'll do a tall one over here and a small one over here. Okay, I wanna keep that center open. And then when I paint pine trees, I just really take my brush and I just kind of start dotting and dabbing and kind of make these lines go bigger as they go down further. Uh, I wanna be able to see some of that sky in between every once in a while, but I don't have to. It just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Okay, so just like that. Um, I know that on your screen, it probably looks black. That's why I wanted to tell you that I added green to it because it will lighten up when it dries. All right, I'm gonna pop myself in a speed motion and fill in all five of my trees. All right, my trees are finished. Let's go ahead and finish this ground space. So I'm gonna use the same color, that greenish black color, and I'm just gonna kind of, just like I did with my trees, kind of add some dots to it just to kind of fill it up, give it a little bit of a, a textured bottom to it. I'm gonna take a little bit of water on my brush and a little bit of that greenish black color. 
and I'm going to take, actually I'm gonna switch brushes. A little bit of water on my one inch flat brush. I think I'm gonna like this idea better. A little bit of water on my one inch flat brush and any place where I know that there was a tree trunk, I'm gonna make a straight line down. And then I can wipe some of that paint off and I can just pull some of these colors down to make what's gonna be like a shadow or reflection on my water. So it's just a little bit of watered down paint and I'm just taking my brush and kind of pulling those lines down. Maybe make it a little bit thicker where there's a tree. Now let's add our snow. So um, first of all, this is Alaska and I am gonna make this a snowy picture. So on top of my ground, on top of my trees, I'm gonna add blobs of snow. And these blobs should not be in specific patterns or forms. You really, really, really wanna keep this 100% random. So for my ground, I'm just going through and adding some blobs. For my trees, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to start to add just a couple of blobs across my trees. Kind of the same way I painted the trees with the green, just kind of going back and forth and dropping those blobs in. I'm gonna put myself in speed motion and add all my blobs. All right, I've got my snow done. I'm gonna add some snow chunks in the water. So I've got some white on here and I'm just gonna make some big, huge chunks of white, nice and thick. Remember, these should not all be the same size. So if you're making your snow chunks all the same size, try to shrink some of those down. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of watered down paint with my black paint. So a little bit of watered down paint with my number six round brush and my black paint. Now I'm gonna add a couple of birds in the sky. And these are what I consider like super easy birds, right? They're like the bump in the bump. So keep them real simple. Maybe they're gonna be flying up towards that sun. Some can be smaller if they're a little bit further back. There we go. I love it. Remember, when you're finished, you need to sign your artwork. I always put my name down here in the bottom right corner. Also, I never get to see what you're painting at home unless you share it with me on our Facebook page, Painting, it, Painting with a Purpose. Make sure you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose, so you're kept up to date on all of our latest tutorials. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.